And hello YouTube, welcome to this video of uh, Open Home Application Editing. So, uh, in the last video, I uh, actually showed you two things. One is the, um, okay. one is the volumes, uh, volume scalar field class. And you can see, I think from the last video that it's very closely related to the volume uh, vector field class because both are type definitions of the type volume field. Uh, okay, volume vector field. All right, um, yeah. So uh, we also discussed um, that it's very important to uh, look at this other class called FE matrix or fe scalar matrix okay so where, where is uh, fe scalar matrix uh, defined okay so uh, i did some detective work again so now you can benefit from it okay um fe scalar matrix oh fe scalar matrix uh, yeah that that's usually uh you go to just just to refresh your memory uh you can go to I call foam. Let's see. Uh, custom solvers. Go to uh, your typical I call foam or I call kit foam. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, you will see that inside the t equation dot h, there will be this thing called Fe scalar matrix. So you are declaring an object using the class Fe scalar matrix. So where is Fe scalar matrix found? Okay. Uh, if you take a look, I mean. I, I did some detective work, okay? So go to source, go to source, okay, you'll find you'll find it in finite volume. You'll find it in this folder, finite volume, FV matrices. If you're not sure, just use a grab dash R and FV scalar matrix. Okay? So you probably see it everywhere. Now the other way to find is uh, uh, use the find command, find in this folder the name flag fv scalar matrix dot h so where will you see it you'll see it in fv matrices so that shows you where you can find it okay finite volume fv matrices and you can see there are a few folders here fv scalar matrix being one of the folders so you can see the you know file right here now, uh, if you grab this folder, FV scalar matrix, and you try to look for the class definition, you can see in FV matrices, there's an include FV scalar matrix dot H. In FV matrix dot H, there's a include FV uh, scalar matrix dot C. Okay, so go down, go down, go down. You can see this part there. Eh? FV matrices forward, type def, okay. So this is the this is the class that's uh, okay. Um, it it says that every time you declare every scalar matrix, you're declaring um, every matrix, okay. And then you see this uh, open and close uh, uh, pointed brackets or, or the more than or less than sign, okay. Um, and then you put scalar in there. Now, uh, uh, usually. Um, if you see something like this, uh, this is actually a template. Okay, if you're not sure, uh, I'll probably go to it in a short while because you'll see things like templates over again and again. Take a look at the source code. Uh, stuff like this may be intimidating. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce it later. But what what I'm saying is that inside uh FV uh matrices forward dot h it is uh it will define what uh, fv scalar matrix is what fv vector matrix is and the whole class of things here so we go to fv matrices uh dot h and you try to find fv uh, matrices fwd okay you'll see that it's included right at the beginning right here in fv matrices dot h fv matrices forward dot h and fv scalar matrix dot h these two header files are being defined okay so nothing too much to see here but except that of course if you take a look at fv matrices forward dot h okay 
what will it include? You include field types. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so if you go to FV matrix, uh, you go to FV matrix dot H. So this can can be kind of confusing because one is just a sing a plural FV matrices dot H. Then you see this one called FV matrix dot H. Okay, FV matrix dot H is where oh, pardon me, me uh minimize this okay obs studio anyway um here's where the class declare most of the class declarations are you'll see there are lots of uh this is a header file and it includes a lot of uh yeah header files here volume fields dot h surface field dot dot h ldu matrix dot h tmp dot h okay this will be interesting one because uh you will see um Lots of this TMP being used again and again here. There's this thing called autoptr.h, which may be useful in understanding some of the code later on. Dimension type 0 and class name. Okay, uh, so you will see class class name being used. You will see uh, TMP being used repeatedly, for example, here. Uh, template class type. Then you have this TMP thing. Okay, but... Uh, there's, there's just a lot of things being thrown at you that are being yeah, quite unfamiliar. Okay, but let's let's uh, just look look for where the class declaration is. Here's where the main class declaration of uh, FV matrix is. They use the template and everything. Then you have a class keyword here and a class keyword here, which may be confusing, but don't worry. We'll try to clear that up in either this video or some of the next videos. You'll see this constant over here, which I kind of uh, uh, briefly gave you some links but I will not uh, demonstrate it in this video okay so can you see there's a class declaration FB matrix um, there's a semicolon then there's a public ref count public LDU matrix both of these are actually uh, so what what uh, C++ uh, likes to call parent classes okay Meaning to say that if you have uh, functions in these two classes, uh, FB matrix will in will by default take all of these two, uh, all of the classes of these two or most of them. Okay, uh, this is not uh, something called inheritance. Okay, inheritance. Again, I didn't go through this uh, in the previous videos, uh, but yeah, it's a very common C plus uh, plus C plus uh, plus what do you call it? Uh, object oriented programming kind of feature so this is something you should know if not well I can always uh, I'll, I'll probably want to refresh your memory or for those who don't know I at least try to introduce you to the idea okay okay so uh, yeah long and short uh, We'll probably go through inheritance sooner or later. And of course, uh, some refresher on class, declar class declaration. Uh, if you are again not familiar, uh, I'll try to introduce you to some, what, some of these uh, keywords known as public, protected, and private. Okay. So, um, as you can see, this FB matrix class, there are, there are pri there's private data. So this is where usually you have your private uh, access modifier not sure don't worry just know that these are these are some uh, some pieces of data that is that's associated with this class FV matrix uh, protected uh, another under protected here FV matrix has this another class called FV solver It's a subclass here I think we call it subclass okay I'm not sure what uh, what's the proper nomenclature for it but there's a class within a class so I think calling it subclass should not be too far off. Far off. Okay. Friend class sub, sub solver. Uh, FV solver. Oh, sorry. This one's in the public one. This one is in the public. Okay. This is a public class or public subclass. You see this uh, class name being here. Yada, yada, yada. But let's look for the very important things. Because... Um, you can see that FV scalar matrix has this very important uh, function called solve. Let's see whether we can find solve here. 
Okay, we are coming to this part. It says uh, solve using segregated uh, oh sorry solution statistics use given solver controls. So uh, okay, you will see this thing called solver. Okay, construct and return solver. There are some um some functions here that actually help you uh return the solver. There are functions here that will even give you relax. Okay, where will you find this? Okay, usually in a pimple loop. Okay, you have this thing called relaxation factors. I hope you're already familiar with it. But uh, if you take a look at a pimple form dot C. Okay, what is this? Okay, yeah, this is the original pimple form. I've not edited it or anything. Okay, if uh, if I'm not wrong, there should be a uh, there should be a relax function being called somewhere here. Okay, so this is very much important for the people algorithm. Okay, there's an FV options correct. Yes, see U equations dot relax. This is actually an FV vector matrix. You can see this relax function being called here. It's very important part of the uh, loop. Uh, especially for pimple form. It's more for pimple form. You don't see it being used in PSO form. Okay. Ah, and here is where you have this uh, you you have this uh, function. The solve function being declared. Okay. It says what? Solve returning the solution statistics solver control read from FV solution. So you can see there's a solver performance thing here, which is probably some template or, or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, this is not something you will normally see in C++. Neither will you see this TMP thing in C++. But uh, you can probably guess where they come from, at least the TMP part. Okay, the TMP part comes from uh, TMP.h. Okay. So I'll scroll down. Uh, so yeah, where, where will you find all the source code of the solve class or the solve, the solve function? Okay, you will probably see from this solver performance thing here. Um, and probably, yeah, wait, no, solver performance probably looks like a template. Okay, it looks like a template of some sort. Uh, but solve, yeah, this is where the header files, the function is being declared, but most of the function's source code should be in fpmatrix.c. You can uh, look for solve. Okay. So you can see, um, you can see the template class type, boom solver performance type, boom solve. Okay, then you return fvm.solve. So you can see that uh, uh, fvm.solve uh, will be given this this function uh, fvm.solve it, it, it's basically the fvmatrix.solve okay every time you call for fvmatrix.solve you will return fvm.solve so uh, looks like the fvm uh, class uh, is being uh, referenced okay F, the finite volume method class is being referenced okay um okay um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on here, uh, but yeah, I, I don't want to go too much into detail here. There is really a lot, a lot of things going on behind. Okay, what, what's important is that you, you see where all these functions come from, okay, where they are declared. Okay, the, the, the most important files, just to... Just to cut the long story short, it's in this fvmatrix.h where you will see the relax function being called and you will see also the solve function. Okay, the solve function is over here. Solve returning to solution statistics. Okay, um, of course there are many, many ways you can, you can, uh, you can uh, have this uh, solver, solver, uh, yeah, solver thing being called. Okay. There are many, many, many functions, including this thing called uh, construct and read solver. Solver controls read from FVM 
uh, every solution. So yeah, this this is a, yet another function using this auto PTR. Where does auto PTR come from? Uh, you probably see it from the auto PTR.h. I'm not going to go through it now. Okay, so uh, given you a rough, you know, navigation into where all these functions come from, where does where this relax function comes from, uh, where the solve function also would come from. Okay, uh, where's the? There should be a solver function here. In P equation got H. Uh, oh, explicitly relax pressure. Okay, let's quit the simple algorithm. Uh, let's go for experimental echo foam. You'll see the p equation dot h. Okay, oops, wrong part. Maybe u equation dot h is easier to see. Okay, solve. You see this this sort this uh solve thing is being called. Okay, uh, so this solve function is being called. What's the syntax? Okay, you you are given a system of equation. Okay, u equation equals to minus uh, some gradient of p so this is uh yeah this is uh, that that's what you have now this is not the complete velocity equation because you still uh, equate it to uh, the gradient of p so where, where is this being found okay look for solve okay so remember this solve uh, Solve can actually take in some uh take in some uh what do you call that? It's uh yeah it can take in some uh what do you call that arguments. Yeah. It can take in some arguments and then it, it will yeah it will construct the matrix and I guess it will start solving things. Okay. <clears throat> so uh yeah, this this is the this is the thing that we have here. There's a solve function being called. Likewise, for t equation, there's also the solve function being called. Okay, nothing too nothing too fancy. Uh, what before I go? Um, yeah, before I go on further, let's. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to start uh, inducting you into templates. Okay, if you're familiar with templates, you know what templates are, and you're very familiar with it. Just skip this part of the video. Um, let's see. This is about oh, eighteen minutes in. Okay, well, uh, I guess I can, I can end the video now. And what I'll do is um. Yeah, I will probably make some, I want to make some videos that uh, refresh your memory on what templates are. And then um, hopefully we will reference uh, we will reference this FE matrix class and we'll walk you through some bits of the code. And once you're done, uh, well, you'll take, you'll take it from there. Okay, see you.